Yet back to the markets, we're still in modest rally mode. I want to bring in Dennis Gartman, publisher and editor of the Gartman Letter. All right, I've got one expression. I'm going to just throw it right out to you, Dennis. Happy days are here again. Question mark. What say you? Well, happy days are indeed here. I mean, let, let's not kid ourselves. The economy is doing very well. It's been doing well for a while. It's been doing extremely well over the course of the last year and a half. And it's probably going to continue to do reasonably well going forward. Interest rates may move higher, but not dramatically so for the next uh, year, two, three, four years into the future. Stocks are indeed breaking out to the upside. So, yeah, happy days are here again. I will argue that I wish that the president would 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 calm down, would would become more presidential. You like him the way he is. I find it a little embarrassing, but the country seems to have applauded him. And up go stocks, up goes the economy. And unless we do something untoward, unless the Federal Reserve Bank moves far too swiftly, unless there's some political uh, inopportune circumstance that prevails overseas, hmm. we probably are going to continue after as as the as the great. Uh, the stock market pro pro prognosticator in, in one of the best books ever written on the stock market, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, Old Turkey once said, after all, this is a bull market. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Now, I read your stuff. I know you like the bank stocks. I, I, I would never say that in public if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it. We've got a large audience, too. That's very public. I know you like bank stocks. I know you like the financials. But I want to move be beyond yeah. that. Why don't you touch big tech? I mean, they, they, that's where the running's been. That's where all the money has been made. Why don't you touch it? I, because I don't understand it. I don't understand why Amazon is considered to be a tech stock when, in fact, all it really is is a distribution company. I don't understand why Netflix is continued to, con, considered to be a tech stock when, in fact, it is nothing more than a movie company. I have a hard time. I, I, I get Microsoft. That I understand. I get Alphabet. I, that mm. I understand. I get Apple. That I understand. But why some of these stocks are considered to be tech stocks when they're really nothing more than uh, distribution companies but, is beyond me. But I, they're I, taking I, over understand. the future. I mean, these technology companies are now into everything, whether it's the, the car companies, whether it's retailing, you name it, uh, medical care, for example. They're moving into yeah. everything, dominating a whole lot of turf. And, you know, most people, if you're a stock market investor, surely you should have a piece of this. Well, I bless everybody that's done it. They will have to go continuously without me. I'd much rather own small banks. I'd much rather own railroads. I'd much rather own steel manufacturers. Maybe it's just because I'm old guard and I can, as I've said on this program before, I want to own the things that if I drop them on my foot will hurt because I understand industry better than I understand high tech. It, if I've learned anything in 40-some years of doing this, it's find out what you think you're good at or find out what you are good at and do more of that and find out what you don't understand and try your best not to do that. I don't understand tech. Bless everybody who's done a good job with it. I wish them well in the future, uh, and, and probably they will continue to lead to the upside, but they'll do so without me. This is incredible, Dennis Gartner, because I am older than you, and I'm the <laughs> we guy. We found that out last week. Yes, we did. <laughs> we had a few emails on that one, by the way. <laughs> okay. Dennis, a pleasure. Thank you very much for being with us this morning. We'll see you again real soon. That's a promise. Thank you, sir. Th Thanks for having me on.